guys, welcome back. This is brownville.com and I am Kim. Today we are making a delicious barbecue black bean portobello mushroom sliders. Phew, that's a mouthful. And your mouths are gonna be filled with the most scrumptious little mini burgers. Let's get started. We need a special binder and this is going to perform the same function that an egg would. So today's binder is ground flax seeds. So these are flax seeds that I have ground in a spice grinder and you can do that in a blender as well. And what we're gonna do is add some warm water. We're gonna whisk these together and we're gonna let this sit. This is going to form into a gel. That's why we do it at the beginning of the recipe because we really want that to get that gel consistency and it's going to happen the longer it sits. The next step is to get started with our mushroom. Let's heat a pan at high heat and we're gonna add a drizzle of a high heat oil and let's add our portobellos. You're gonna let these cook. As you can see, these are nice and golden brown. It really only takes a couple of minutes if you don't overcrowd that pan. So let's add our salt and pepper, just a pinch, because we are um, adding some seasonings to the patties. The first part of our veggie patties, we're actually gonna process in a food processor. If you don't have a food processor, I would recommend just mashing the beans by hand. You can use a fork or a potato masher. The three ingredients that are going into your food processor are your black beans, we have some brown rice here, which is gonna be part of our binder. We're also gonna add half of our portobello mushroom mixture. We only need a couple here, this really packs a punch, and these we're gonna reserve for the topping. Let's pulse this a few times, and then we're gonna assemble the rest in a bowl. Okay, so what we have here is something that would easily hold its shape. That's exactly the consistency we want. And now we're gonna add all of our seasonings. Our first ingredient is one of my favorite ingredients in the world, peanut butter. We're also adding some sriracha sauce. The next ingredient we're gonna add is some tamari soy sauce. And we also have some mustard right here. We're also adding some spices. We're adding some ground uh, garlic powder and we're adding any type of Cajun seasoning that you have on hand or chili powder. This is to add a little extra flavor and kick to our burgers. And of course we need some sea salt and pepper. And our last ingredient, which is totally optional, but we're using it because we're actually gonna put these in some homemade buns that we made earlier. And we have that recipe for you. It's right here. They are our roasted garlic and poppy seed beer buns. And they're perfect for sliders. And because I roasted some garlic for the buns, I'm gonna use some extra roasted garlic for our patties. And our last ingredient is that beautiful flax gel that we made earlier. This is going to be our egg replacer. It's super nutritious. Flax seeds are so, so high in omega-3s. Very healthy for you. Now we're gonna Give this an initial toss with the spatula, and then we're gonna get our hands nice and dirty. You want this really well incorporated. So let's form our little veggie patties. We're going to be baking these in the oven. So I want you to preheat your oven to 355 degrees Fahrenheit. 
So we need a shallow baking dish just like this one and we're gonna line it with some parchment paper. I always like to have some extra ground flax seeds here next to me because if you feel the mixture is way too sticky, it's not holding its shape, you can just kind of sprinkle a little bit more of the flax seeds. Let's try, let's check and see. So as you can see, this is quite sticky. I'm gonna add a little bit of that ground flax seed and that's gonna help me form these patties. So we are gonna make six patties today. This is a recipe that can be easily doubled, tripled, or you can make half if you want. Let's make some little balls first. Use your same sticky fingers to give them a little push. Now you wanna keep your bun in mind. Let's add a tiny drizzle of oil in the top just to help out a little bit of that browning process. So just a little tiny drizzle will do. We're gonna pop these in our preheated oven and you're gonna let these cook until they're firm. Let's prepare the toppings for our sliders. Today we're using some of those reserved portobello burgers and some crispy fried onions. I love a lot of crispy onions on my sliders. So we're gonna use one small onion for this and we're gonna give it a very thin slicing. Heat a non-stick skillet and we're gonna add some high heat oil. So normally we just add enough oil to coat the pan. Today we wanna add a little bit more. We don't want a thick layer. We're not frying these completely, but we do want the onion to have enough oil to get nice and crispy. We can test the oil by dropping a little piece and that's sizzling, so that's perfect. We're gonna add our onions. See how these are practically burnt? These are gonna be super crispy. The texture is going to be amazing. So what we're gonna do just to finish this off is we're gonna add our reserved portobellos just to warm them up slightly. Try not to add the liquid in if there is any. Once they are combined and warmed up, you can reserve these until it's time to top our bun. Our Veggie patties have come out of the oven, and as you can see, they are nice and firm. So these were in the oven for about 20 minutes without moving them around. And after 20 minutes, I could see that they were easily flippable, so I flipped and cooked for five to 10 more minutes, depending on your oven. So in about 30 minutes, these would absolutely be done. So it's very important, and that's why I tell you that you can do this in advance, to let these rest for a bit. That will continue to firm them up Let's cut our potatoes. So I like choosing some long and slimmer potatoes because we really want to see those little edges with the skin. So what we're gonna do is slice it in half and then we're gonna go ahead and make wedges. So take your knife and you kind of wanna go on the diagonal a little bit. So you want kind of this giant wedge or this giant french fry. Let's place our potato wedges inside a bowl. And we're gonna drizzle them with a little bit of high heat oil. Now this is going at a high temperature in the oven. You want to preheat your oven at about 400 degrees, but you're going to turn on only the top part of your oven. And you also wanna place the rack of your oven higher up in the oven so that these are gonna be in close contact with that top heating part, that broiler of the oven. So we've added some oil here. We're gonna add some pepper and some unrefined sea salt. So now we're gonna place this in a baking sheet and we're gonna bake them in the oven. Place them on top of some parchment paper so that they don't stick. And here, it's very, very important that you spread these out. So you want air to be able to circulate between the fries. We're gonna put these under the broiler in our oven until they are nice and golden brown. Once you see a nice golden color in the top, we're gonna flip them for a few more minutes and then we're gonna serve everything together. Our potatoes are ready, they're nice and golden. These were under that broiler for a while. 
Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to heat, we're going to warm up really our veggie patties in that same pan where we cooked the onion and then we're assembling our sliders. So what we have here is our little homemade buns. These are roasted garlic poppy seed beer buns. So let's take one out. We're going to cut it in half. And we're going to start adding our delicious fillings, our patty. So what I like to do is in the bottom bun, I like to put some spicy brown mustard. Then I love to top with our patty. Look at that size. Isn't that perfect? Oh my goodness. We're going to add some barbecue sauce. These are barbecue black bean sliders. So we need a generous amount of your favorite barbecue sauce. And finally, our crispy onions and mushrooms. So we top and we serve the first of our little sliders. Thank you so much for cooking with me today. Look at your beautiful sliders and this beautiful oven fries. So I hope you come back soon to cook some more with us. And I can't wait to see your pictures if you get a chance to try this recipe. So post it online with the hashtag BrownBowl. I will see you again really soon at BrownBowl.com. Thanks for stopping by.